How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, I want to give you a tutorial on how we do a tug test when hooking up our fifth wheel for the RV newbie. So I want to take you through the steps of what we do and why we do it, the thought process behind it. It's an excellent practice to get into. It helps you not damage your fifth wheel thinking that you're hooked up to your fifth wheel hitch properly, and then you have an accident where it doesn't stay in the fifth wheel hitch. So it's just an extra step to give you that peace of mind when you're going down the road. So let's start off by getting everything packed up in the fifth wheel and ready to hook up the truck. Okay, now that we have everything set up and ready, uh, I wanna pay attention to exactly how this is going to connect together. So when I'm connecting together, I want to have uh, basically these little ramps that you see here, they're, they're going to slide together. I wanna have the, the hitch area be right in the middle of that ramp. I don't wanna sit too high, having a little bit of friction going in, but you also don't wanna sit too low. So having it kind of right there in the middle is gonna be ideal for connecting up. The better we make this process and the more accurate we are, uh, really the tug test is just a check and you shouldn't ever have any issues with the tug test. I know it's just a tiny bit, but I'm just gonna raise it up just a little bit. So now that we have it raised up just a little bit, you can see that we're pretty much right in the middle, exactly where we wanna be connecting. With that, we'll hop in the truck and make the connection. Now that we're connected in, I like to give it a good visual inspection because you can see the jaws around the pin and you wanna make sure that it's not high pinned. You wanna see that it's sitting in there properly. And then we can make the rest of our connections before the tug test. So at this point, we have everything connected. We have the arm locked into place. We have the wiring harness that will give us uh, control of the brakes. And we have our breakaway uh, cable connected in there as well. So everything's connected. I'm gonna leave it wheel chalked. And then I also want to raise the, the landing gear. All the rest of the landing gear needs to be raised, except for the front ones. I'm gonna leave those just about a half inch or an inch above those blocks. So that when we pull the, the fifth wheel, if it's gonna fall at all, it's only gonna go down about that much. And that way it's not putting any strain on those legs. If we didn't have just a little bit of a gap there, we don't want a huge gap so that if it comes down, that's why we're doing a tug test to make sure there's not gonna be any movement. So this is my preferred way of doing it because if it does come off the hitch, if something was done improperly, it would slump off that hitch and it would just go down that, that last little half inch. So it wouldn't matter. It's not gonna go anywhere because it's still chalked and we're gonna activate those brakes inside. So it's not gonna cause any damage to those front legs and it's also not gonna cause any damage to your truck if something were to, to be wrong, uh, it's not gonna fall on the, the back of your truck and cause damage to the RV and your truck. So let's do that now. So we put it in gear, we engage the trailer brakes, and then we just give it enough throttle to give it a little tug test. So once we've passed the tug test, we know that everything's connected properly. We can finish raising up those, those legs and do one more walk around to make sure we haven't forgotten anything. But uh, yeah, that's my preferred way of doing a tug test. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.